Savings groups are a popular and effective way of helping poor households increase their savings. But why do they work? Research suggests that there are many different mechanisms operating within a savings group that make them effective. They include public commitment, social norming, salience, limited access, and mental accounting. The first mechanism is public commitment. Public commitment helps participants stick to their goals. When people make public commitments, they are more likely to follow through. We all seem to have an internal monologue that goes something like this. I committed in front of others to do this. I want to think of myself as someone who follows through on my commitments, and I don't want to look bad in front of my friends. A second mechanism is social norming. Social norming helps participants believe in their ability to save. They might think, if my peers can do it, then I can do it. However, peers can also create social norms around negative financial behaviors, like missing payments to the group. A third reason savings groups are effective is salience. We all have a lot on our minds, and we have limited attention. It's easy to forget things, like making a savings deposit. Limited attention represents a serious barrier to saving for many people, poor and non-poor alike. The regular and frequent meetings of savings groups overcomes limited attention by making savings deposits salient or keeping the idea at saving at the top of mind. A fourth way that savings groups work is by limiting people's access to their own money. It's easier to resist temptation to spend when you don't have the money easily to hand. It's also easier to turn down requests from family and friends for assistance. A fifth mechanism is mental accounting, another term used by economists to describe how people generally put money into different mental buckets or categories that help them organize their financial lives. When people join savings groups, they often have the opportunity to set a goal for what they will do with their accumulated savings. Having a clear purpose assigned to a discrete mental bucket may make it easier for people to set small amounts aside in the short term, slowly building towards their goal. Understanding the positive mechanisms behind the savings group model can lead the way to the development of products that better meet the needs of poor households.